Hello and welcome to Aston University Engineering Academy, also known as AUEA. We are based on the edge of the Aston University Birmingham campus, just outside the city centre. My name is Malachi Harris. My name is Wendy Williams. And we are both students in Year 11. We are sorry that you can't be here tonight, but we hope that these videos will give you an insight into what life is like at AUEA. Aston University Engineering Academy is a technical college, which means it focuses on STEM subjects. STEM subjects are science, engineering, technology and maths. Welcome to Aston University Engineering Academy and Aston University Sixth Form's virtual open evening. Things are very different at the moment and normally we would be absolutely looking forward to welcoming you into our building, showing you around our fantastic state-of-the-art facilities. What we hope tonight is that what you gain from meeting our students, watching our videos, as well as after the events using our YouTube channel and our website to go and spot different bits of the elements of our school is that it gives you a real flavour to what life is like in Birmingham's UTC. Students join us in year nine when they are 13 years old. and We have 81 students that arrive with us then to follow a discovery-based STEM curriculum. That includes your sciences, your technologies, your engineering, your maths, along with the other aspects which are really important, including your English, business and finance. Students go on to follow in GCSEs in year 10 and year 11 in absolutely your core GCSEs, but we also provide them additional maths, extra subjects including things like Mandarin and German, as well as especially in the STEM subjects and our engineering technical qualifications, science technical qualifications and business. Our sixth form is one of the largest school sixth forms across the whole of Birmingham. We have over 400 students here from all different areas across the whole of the West Midlands. What we do as part of our sixth form is we have five very specific pathways. These pathways are allowing students to range from the very top academic elite students on four of our specialist STEM A-levels, across into our technical subjects specialising in science and health, business and engineering. 
One of the things we do here so importantly is we spend more time talking with parents and with students about what they're going to do when they leave us than actually about when they're here. And often parents comment on the quality of our careers and progression advice and guidance. That's because all of our subjects here and all of our facilities are focused on your progression into a career in a STEM area. In a business area, in an engineering area, in a science and mathematics area. Now whether that be an apprenticeship or whether that be straight into university or whether that be into employment, we'll provide you the skills and the experience and automatically the opportunities along these four, five or six years at AEA to enable you to access the career, the salary and the future that you deserve. One of the things which is so important about the UTC is our sponsorship by Aston University. From 2010, when the whole of the UTC were first started here in Birmingham, they've stood side by side of us, leading the way and supporting us. My board is made up of members of the university, along with key employees from across the Midlands, and this includes companies such as Jacobs, RSS and HS2. These employers and the university work side and side with us to enable the fact that our learning, our teaching, the skill development and the progression pathways that we have here at AUEA and Aston University Sixth Form ensure that all students can progress onto those courses at university, the apprenticeships or employment. A quarter of our students actually progress directly onto Aston University courses, whether that be straight into the School of Engineering and on the many courses they run there, including civil engineering and mechanical engineering, into life and health sciences, or even into the new medical school. We're very proud to have the badge of Aston University, and in fact, our sixth form has the main status as Aston University's sixth form. So, for tonight, I'm going to hand you over to our students, to our staff, to tell you a bit more about the life here at AUEA. We've got lots of videos available online, including a longer um, information for myself, and I look forward to the next event being the Principal's Q&A, where I'll be live online and you're able to come and chat to me and ask me questions more about the Academy and life here for your child. Have a fantastic evening. Stay safe. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Ruth Sosby. I'm Assistant Principal for Curriculum and Assessment here at AUEA. I'm going to talk to you just for a couple of minutes about our curriculum and why you might be choosing to come and study here in Year 9 rather than staying in the schools that you're currently in. So our curriculum isn't um, a shortcut to starting GCSEs early, it really does give you the opportunity to develop a whole new range of skills that you will need for being successful at GCSE and at A-level and in vocational qualifications in science and engineering and business. So in year nine you'll study maths and English just like you would anywhere else. You'll study science but you'll study science from an, in an investigative point of view but then you'll study some really interesting subjects you'll start to um, develop a range of digital skills and look at how computing technology and programming is used in the world now you will study engineering and design and technology and finance and you'll really get a grip of how those subjects start to develop towards GCSE and qualifications but more importantly careers because what we're really about is creating young people who have business skills, science skills, engineering skills that will take you forward into the workplace and on top of that we'll study things about the world, about the environment, about the way in which cultures relate to each other and the use of language. So here you'll study a language in year nine, you'll study German and you'll study Mandarin again to give you the skills that you need to work in a modern workplace. Following year nine, you'll move into your GCSE year with us. In most schools, you would be doing a huge amount of options at the end of year nine. And we don't do that here. You're coming to study science and engineering. So everybody does triple science so everybody will do GCSE in biology chemistry and physics which is a real selling point no choice to make everybody will study at least two GCSEs worth in BTEC level one two engineering 
and then everybody will continue with a language, a choice of Mandarin or GCSE German. Everybody will do one option from GCSE Business Studies, Design and Technology or Media. So we hope that that sparks your interest and you might want to come and study subjects in a really different way in year nine here to ensure that you're really well prepared for GCSEs and for A-levels and for vocational qualifications and for life. I chose to come here because even though I really enjoyed my previous school, I believe Aston University Engineering Academy has got, what I, has got what I need to pursue my future careers. I chose to come to this school because of the specialist equipment and extended curriculum that allowed me to have direct uh, links with industry. My name is Abdurrahman. I'm in year 10 and what I like about this school is that it provides special facilities for students to learn and work in. Hi, my name is Halima. I came to AUA because I was really interested in the science department. I really enjoyed doing the projects and learning about something extra and I really want to be a biologist when I'm older. Hi, my name is Ryan and I came here to learn about science because I think it's very interesting. I also am very interested in digital editing and editing softwares. Hi, my name is Zain and I'm a student at AUA. I came to this school because I wanted to pursue my dream of becoming a dietitian. My name is Nabil Mohamed. Uh, I go to AUA. The thing that I like about AUA that is that speed teachers support you and they support in every kind of work. So that's my take on AUA and the engineering is really good. So. Hello, my name is Bianca and I'm in year nine. I joined the school in September. I joined the school because I wanted to study business and finance. In, at Aston University, we study a variety of subjects such as the cores and additional subjects. Hi, my name is Eloise. I'm in year nine. I came to this school to pursue my dream job, which is going into the Navy as an engineer. Today we are working with plastic. Let, let me show you around. Hi, my name is Cody Wallace Copeland. I'm in year 12 and I came from Queen Mary's Grammar School. I chose to come to AU, AUEA because um, it's got a really good science curriculum. We have an A level biology right now. Let me show you how. Okay, so currently we're having a practical on mitosis. What I, like, what I like about um, the biology teaching is our teacher, he's very energetic and he presents the, um, all of the, the, the course right. properly. Hi, my name's Ayba. I joined AUA to be a chemical engineer, but since I joined CCF, I want to be a military officer. Um, I joined AUA because um, I'm invested in technology and design. Um, when I grow up, I really want to go into them atmospheres where I can use my skills of technology and design in the future. Um, I really like about AUA is it gives you lots of opportunities to do new things and everything that you want to try, it has um, spaces for, um, yeah, for you to do that. My name is Kassin, I'm a student at AUA. What I like about this place, it really gives you a variety of options for what you want to do when you're older. When I'm older, I want to be a mechanical engineer. Hi, my name is Safia. I came to AUA because of all the opportunities that they offer, <laughs> like the science and the projects, because I want to become a paediatrician when I'm older. Hi, my name is Alina. I joined AUEA to further my education in science as I want to grow up to be a gynaecologist. My name is Hanin Ziada. I'm in year 12. I want to study medicine. And at year 11, I did a lot of research and found out that Aston University Sixth Form is the best place to come to do your A levels to go and study medicine. Today, I'm in an A level physics class. Let me show you around. And um, we are doing an experiment today. Hi, my name's Ahmed, and let me explain what's going on today. Uh, right here, we have a sound frequency generator, which is making a frequency of 880 hertz. That's then connected from audio jack to a speaker, which is then playing it down a tube, which is then filled with air, which bounces off the water edge. What that does is then it's sent from the mic down to the oscilloscope, which you can then read and figure out the frequency and wavelength. And then what you'd want to do is you'd use this tube and measure it with 
a meter stick and use that to figure out the air column size and then you could also use that to figure out the speed of the frequency and eventually work out the speed of sound that's traveling through the tube. Thanks. Hello, my name is David Chapman. I'm a Vice Principal here at Aston University Engineering Academy. AUEA is a university technical college that was set up initially to help fill the skills gap that exists across the UK. As STEM is our, um, our specialism, we take great pride in working with local industry, national industries and international industries. What makes us different and what makes us appealing to Year 9 and to Sixth Form students are much of the extracurricular activities that we ha have on offer. So alongside the bespoke curriculum that you can access, we also have personal development opportunities. Every week, students work in projects. Projects are contextualised activities that sit outside of the curriculum and are heavily linked to industry. All students get the opportunity to take part in projects and sixth form get uh, an opportunity to take part in extended placements. We also have um, opportunities such as the Combined Cadet Force, which allows students to develop personal skills, personal development, leadership, problem solving, teamwork, etc. etc. So alongside all of that for Year 9, in the curriculum also exists the Duke of Edinburgh Award. This is a scheme that is a national, international scheme that many, many people have taken part in and AUEA pays for all of Year 9 to take part in that during the curriculum time uh, in the week. Our links with industry is absolutely a cornerstone to everything we do. We take great pride with working with local businesses that help shape our curriculum, assess the students' abilities and provide opportunities for work experience and extended placements. We also have opportunities that exist beyond the classroom with trips, with visits, with excursions, with overseas placements, with all sorts of of different opportunities to provide that rich extracurricular offer that helps develop the individual beyond the classroom. Hi, I'm Sakina Garda. I'm, uh, I'm in year 13 now. I'm studying BTEC Engineering and actually I'm studying English A-level, English Literature and I hope to go on to do a degree apprenticeship in uh, Aerospace Engineering. So I joined in, you know, I said I joined in year 10 I joined at 14 years old, you know, in, I was put into a, a school that was so business oriented. I wasn't, I wasn't confident, I wasn't, I didn't even know what I wanted to do if I even wanted to be an engineer. And I joined and I thought I'm just going to be, I'm going to try and apply for everything, but it was always something that scared me. And I know as, you know, now you're starting in year nine, there's, there's, you're even younger and you're coming in and you still might not know what you want to do and that's fine even when you get to GCSEs because whether you stay, even you stay here and you get all your, all your GCSEs, everything you get will help you. And for me, it was every extracurricular thing I was involved in built towards that, built towards what I want to do. And I was definitely not confident in what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, <clears throat> how I wanted to get there. But um, so, of part of being part of the cadets, I was, I joined, and I thought I'm gonna. I'm not going to do much, I'm going to do the bare minimum and sort of stick to myself a bit. But I learned that, you know, it was all about discipline, standing up and teaching in front of others. I was doing teaching courses by the end of it and I'm standing in front of new people having to tell them what to do. I didn't know them, I don't know how they learn, I don't know anything about them. But I had to stand in front and they listened to me and it was, and I think it was a really good journey for me to go on as a 14 year old to now 17, knowing I think where I want to go what I want to do and how I want to do it and what career paths I have to take, what choices I have to make to get there. And I really hope you can all get the same experience from that when you join, even as 13, 14 years old. I'm Phil Harris, I'm the school staff instructor here at Aston University Engineering Academy. 
My background is I'm ex-military, um, 23 years in the army. When I left the army, I then uh, went into education. So Aston University Engineering Academy became part of a government initiative in 2017 as part of the Cadet Expansion Programme. Uh, we are now in our fourth year and it's very successful indeed. Okay, we don't use this as a recruiting tool, we, what we use it is, uh, is for so cadets can get um, extra experiences and opportunities where they probably wouldn't get in a normal school. We have an RAF section here and it's one of the largest RAF contingents combined cadet force within the country. Each year when we start we have over 100 cadets which is absolutely fantastic. We have um, dedicated staff here, teachers, who have taken a Queen's Commission to become Cadet Force Adult Volunteers Officers and they help and support with the smooth running of the Combined Cadet Force here. We are partnered with RAF Cosford, which is an engineering school for the military. So we get lots of opportunities to go over on trips and visits to RAF Cosford and do residentials as well, which is a great experience for the cadets. So they get to learn all about the aircraft and the engineering uh, and the ground um, activities as well. The cadets get extra opportunities as well to go away with, to military establishments with the Army uh, and the Navy with work experience and residentials up to a week long as well. They'll also go on a summer camp um, at the end of the year and that will consolidate all the skills that they've learned throughout that year. The cadets will also get a chance to go flying and they'll go to RAF Cosford to 8 uh, Experience Flight Squadron and they will learn how to fly a plane, they will take the controls, they'll do acrobatics in a, a two-seater aircraft called a Tutor. Uh, and the cadets absolutely love it, it's fantastic. The Command Cadet Force RAF, we use um, the core values here of RISE, which is respect, integrity, service and excellence. And we push each cadet to be the best that they can using these core values. Hello, I'm Rory Munro. I've been in CSTF for four years now. Uh, I'm a flight sergeant and I sort of run a lot of operations and activities that we do here, such as teaching, leadership activities and all that. Uh, behind me you'll see some cadets that are doing drill and they're being instructed by our sergeant who's also a student at the school and uh, so everything in the cadets now is being run by students, all the lessons, leadership training and everything, everything's run by our students. My name is Nareza Sam, I'm in year 10 at Aston University Engineering Academy and I do the cadets here. In the cadets we do many different activities such as climbing, the air rifle range, flying, gliding and drill. My name is Yusuf and I'm in Year 9. I, ha I have been in the school for only a month and I really enjoy it. I came to the school because I felt like I needed like, some new opportunities because my old school did not, what, like, did not give me what I, what I needed. And I felt as if I was, I was behind everyone else. Um, I, I joined the CCF because I saw there was a lot of activities that I really liked to do. There's a rock climbing and shooting range downstairs and I, I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to use them in the future. I hope that one day I'll be able to leave the school with good qualifications and go on to have a good life. Within Aston University Engineering Academy, we have a force development centre. That's situated in the basement and it was officially opened on the 5th of February 2020. Within the basement, we have a climbing wall, um, leadership, command task areas, uh, flight simulators and an indoor shooting range. So we use this with, with, as part of the facilities here with the cadet force but also for club nights as well. The cadets get a chance to progress through the cadet training syllabus as well and a lot of them can work towards promotion which is great to develop their leadership um, and also they can get a chance to, to do their methods of instruction course where they'll gain their yellow lanyard and then they are able to then teach and instruct their fellow peers. 
So basically the cadet experience here is fantastic. The cadets get to experience opportunities they would never um, experience in, in other schools. So I would recommend it to any students that is coming here to Aston University Engineering Academy. Just the workpiece. They achieve this by working the congestion on the bed, which is moving in a corner. My name is Ibrahim, and I've been here for five years now at AUEA, and I'm in year 14, and I've learned a lot of stuff along the way. I've had a lot of ups and downs. However, my advice to you guys would be listen to the teachers and let take on the advice because they have so much experience in the working world, and honestly, it does help a lot, and it makes a huge difference in the long run. And the teachers are really supportive in the sense that if you have an issue, if you have an assignment problem, problems at home, they'll help you out with it and they'll help you get right on back on track. Hi, my name is Ruth Acton and I'm Assistant Principal here at Aston University Engineering Academy. I'm responsible for a very large area, but what I do manage is a phenomenal team which is totally about student support. So within my team I have several college leaders. We have two college leaders who support the sixth form and we have two college leaders who support the lower school. We have an attendance and welfare manager. We also have a SENCO and an amazing team of teaching assistants and we have a phenomenal school counsellor. Working together seamlessly we do all we can to further support the students who arrive at AUEA. We help them with their learning, with their education, how to make rapid progress. We work with external agencies and we do all we can to make sure that there are no barriers for the students in order to allow them to fulfil their full potential. We have so many strengths and we have actually won an award for outstanding support for students which I'm incredibly proud of because without my team my role would be increasingly hard. My college leaders they work tirelessly to communicate with parents on a daily basis, we manage um, the students' behaviour, we look at all the additional needs that they may come with, we work with the schools to make sure that transition is smooth and that we gather all the data that we can pertinent to every single student who comes to AUEA so that we know exactly who our students are and exactly how we can support them in moving forwards. Hello, my name's Mrs Rendell and I um, work in the LDC and uh, I, I love working here because I get to meet lots of students. Uh, I am able to help and support them with all sorts of things. Um, the LDC is a lovely place for the students to be able to come and use the facilities and the resources that we have. Uh, I think it's really nice to be able to sit and to talk to the students when they've had a, a long day and, and Sometimes they do come to me as well if they'd like to find out some information. Um, they use the, the space as a, a hub, uh, as a community. And also as well, we have some really, really lovely clubs as well. It's uh, on as well when, when people have finished um, school and college and very often um, we can find lots and lots of support um, during the process of you being here as well. My name's Adine Spence. I'm the school counsellor at AUEA. I've been here for two years now and absolutely enjoy what I do. What do I do, you might ask yourself? Well, I see people that don't have to have a problem, but they do want to talk. And so it could be about anything. It could be something that's on their mind. They just want a second opinion. Having said that, I do see students and staff who are probably having or experiencing some difficulties and so we talk that through as well. We look at strategies for coping, we look at things that they can do to change either their behaviour or situation or sometimes I just listen and that's what I do best. I'd like to think that most of what I do is just to listen. Hi my name's Sonia, I wear green lanyards as a mental health ambassador. When I help any of my peers are struggling throughout the week, I'm a friendly face in the 
say, sixth form block who they can talk to for any of the struggles during exams, college, home. So, yeah, there's a few of us walking around, so that's what it is, my job, my stuff. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jan. I'm the chef manager for Aspens at AUEA and every day we're cooking you some food. Available from a counter, we've got a main meal counter just there and we've got a lovely grab and go counter also and every day we're cooking you fresh food and uh, a different type of offer and a service with a smile. Hi, my name's Tyler Butler. I'm in year 13. I study BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma and Core Maths. Hopefully next year I'll get a degree apprenticeship in Aerospace Engineering. As you can't be with us today, we've made a video showing off all our departments. You can see this on our YouTube or on our website. Don't be afraid to ask us any questions and get in contact. As you can't be with us this evening in person, uh, we're really delighted to say we have a phenomenal Matterport digital virtual tour of the school. It's available from our website and our links that you're able to take yourself around. You can either watch the tour yourself and see our fantastic and incredible and amazing facilities and our equipment, or you can take control of the tour and you can go around at your own pace and explore how you can be here at AUEA and the type of facilities and opportunities you will have. Hello, I'm Helen Walklet, the Admissions Manager for Aston University Engineering Academy. And I'm Amanda Johnson, the Admissions Administrator. We'd like to thank you for your interest in finding out more about how to make an application for a place in Year 9. We admit students into Year 9 each September and there are 81 places available. You can apply from the 1st of September via the AVA website. I'll show you. So, in the top left corner of the screen you'll have a drop down menu if you click on apply and then on the right hand side you'll see year 9 register your interest as you click on there if you scroll down you'll find information on how to register your interest and you just need to complete the different sections student details address current score and a little section on why you'd like to apply. Then at the bottom, if you click submit, and that will come through to us, and we will send you an application form in the post. When you receive your application form in the post, we do ask for a little bit more information about you. This is so we can find out why your child would like to join us. What are their interests? Please remember to send in their previous school reports for Year 7 and an up-to-date Year 8 report. The closing date for applications is the 31st of January 2021. Once you have applied, there is a clear process to go through. This is designed to make sure that you fully understand the UTC, have all of your questions answered and that we know how we can support you when you want to join us. We will have a range of events and activities that help support your child's transition to AUEA and we pride ourselves in keeping you informed every step of the way. So to contact us, our direct number is 0121 380 0572 
or you can email us on admissions at auea.co.uk and you can reach both of um, Amanda and myself on those numbers. Thank you for considering AUEA as your child's next steps to a career in engineering, business and STEM subjects. Education for life, skills for the future. So sorry this evening isn't as normal. Our videos will be available on the website and on YouTube for you to view at your own leisure. We look forward to seeing you next time. Our next event will be the Principal's Q&A where you'll be able to ask him questions and he will give you answers of your queries. I hope that you get to see us soon, personally. And good luck and goodbye and stay safe.